Oops. Did you spend too much money on handhelds this year? Yeah, yeah. And how many hands do you have? Just the two. And you have what? A couple hundred dollars worth of e-waste in a drawer somewhere? Yeah. How about your wife? Is she happy you spent that much? No. What if you displayed them as collectibles? Y yeah, that's a good idea. But is your wife cool with you spending even more? No, I don't want to spend too much money. She's already very mad. We better hit the dollar store. That's a really good idea. Well, you uh, you said it, Gary. The first place we should check is the uh, the dollar store. You got the Dollar Tree, your Dollar General. Uh, everything's a buck. I don't know what it's like in your area, but uh, Dollar Tree usually has some uh, little picture frames and like uh, like dish holders. Like you like did your mom ever buy just dishes that you weren't allowed to eat on? They were decorative. Yeah, people do that, and uh, Dollar Tree is a good place to get the uh, the holders for them. And you know what else is the same rough size as a small uh, uh, sandwich holding dish? Retro handheld. Yeah, well, Gary, I had, to, <laughs> I had to move. There was a tramp, vagabond, who was uh, he had a real lean and hungry look, you know what I mean? And I think he was he was living in a busted up car. He was eyeballing me pretty good. So I said, maybe I'll move down to the Kroger. Uh, and he followed, but uh, he's laying on, he's laying on a bunch of, like a pallet of Morton salt, like for the snow. So I don't know. I think you might have had a couple of soda pops. Maybe the police are on their way. Who cares? So what I what I was trying to do in the, the dollar store parking lot, I got this guy for $1.25. Look at that. It's just holes. I got a couple of them. I got a gold one. It's a much wider base, so you can kind of angle it a little bit. Or I think I might maybe put a little bit of masking tape or something on the inside, keep it from, because this is probably not real brass, so uh, it'll rub off. I wish they would have had more of these coated plastic ones. I only had maybe two in this size. Um, but I got four, four of them, and it's $1.25 because of the dang economy. Uh, that works out to five bucks. Wait a minute. I know. You know, if you would help. And I got this too. You too, for $1.25, can be just like our affiliated YouTube friend, Mr. Russell. Russell De Corpse his real name maybe that's why he was in the military I got this for Gary he can learn how to go 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 with Blippi we're gonna continue this later when we get back to the ranch I'm gonna see how many of my different hands I brought this guy I didn't even really need to because the smallest one they had was was big enough punny I might try to go to Pacatans or Michaels or Joanne Fabrics this lady's staring at me why don't you take a picture of the last one you jackass thank you oh when I was getting away from that bum I went to Kroger bought some pickles I like pickles well, maybe we'll hit marks on the way. Watch your footing, watch your footing. Well, that was a bus, Gary. Outside of you absolutely dominating that bathroom. Good Lord. Did you hear I'm paging for the janitor when we were leaving? You need to eat more lettuce or something, dude. I don't know, what do you want to try tomorrow? Hobby Lobby? Maybe Walmart or Super Kmart or something. They got it. maybe Meyer. Maybe Meyer has it. They got a, they got a pretty big junk area. Place is bumping today. Something like this would be ideal. But I'm not gonna spend five dollars on it. Well, Gary, we got skunked again. There's Dollar General across the street. Let's try there. You wanna learn some karate? No. Let's go to Dollar Tree, find a couple more frames. There's some easels. It's probably too big disconcerting well Gary I don't know I ain't got nothing 
Got some stocking stuffers for the kids. That's a plus. Let's see what else we can hit. Well, we had some success. We hit Dollar Store, Marks, Wally World, and Amazon. Uh, our first one, this big guy, we got from, uh-oh, from Walmart. This was, I think, two bucks, three bucks. It's almost too big, right? What are you gonna use it on? A DS, except, oh, I don't wanna display it like this. But guess what? Whoa, now you can display it. I got these little plastic fellas from Amazon.com. Gary, can you put a link up? Now I do have to investigate some more because the ones I found, this is the large and it's just a skosh too small right here. Ideally, I would wanna get one that's maybe half an inch bigger than that and you'll see why. So here's the Pal Kitty, little mini guy. That sits on there nice, but it's not really anchored in there, right? If I flip the screen, it's, it's anchored in there kinda, but even the Pal Kitty, not really. So this is for displaying things, and I got a lot of them. You can get like 12 for nine bucks, I think. But if you have a pretty stable display area, that's gonna fit a lot of them. You can even put some of your bigger guys on there. But just keep in mind, it's not really uh, stable. It's just kind of resting in there. Here's one of the easel frames I got from the dollar store for a dollar and a quarter. Now what can this fit? Your chunkier boys. My DMG fits in there perfectly. And here's uh, two more smaller handhelds with that plastic one I got on Amazon. It's definitely, even with the Miu Mini, it doesn't really, it doesn't fit in there, but it holds it. It's got enough of an angle that it'll hold it. And then uh, this old classic S30 Pocket Go for a static display kind of situation, not a big deal. I got a little easel for a dollar and that's kind of I don't know that I would do this with a handheld that is very very fragile because you're not really you're not really holding on by much right but gravity does most of the work and that's actually probably a little more stable than that plastic one and if you're gonna do something where you have a lot of things in a small area this kind of elevates some of your handhelds and again this is only a buck ouch pinch myself Gary and then we have these bigger fellas. Boy, that'll fit a Game Force Chi just nice. Let's just let's just go over to the display case. I will arrange them in a very visually enticing manner. So here we go. We have a wide selection of our dollar store finds and our Amazon finds, uh, holding up a wide selection of handhelds. So you get the verticality for your DS. That's that tall one. The Retroid Pocket 2 is on an easel, just to give them a little bit of height from the ETA Prime. Classic handheld. Uh, Game Gear, probably about the same size as the Steam Deck, honestly. Game Force G in the back, so beautiful. So peak 90s aesthetic. You got the X60 back there. J Lash's 333-in-1 real games. Pow Kitty, a couple Game Boy Advances. And my handheld of the year, the 353V. Jack, Jack, buddy. Hey, you, I'm trying to do videos here, dude. Well, Gary, what did we learn? Dang it. Well, what did we learn, Gary? We learned that going to Amazon.com, Wally World, and what was your other, Dollar General, and I guess anywhere else that might have sales, you can find for roughly a dollar, two dollars, upwards of three dollars. Your best deal is on Amazon though. These little easel holders to hold your handhelds. That way, you know, your wife says, why you have so much junk in these drawers? Why are you spending all of our money? There's no money for the kids. How are we gonna get groceries this week? You say, I am, I am, I am building a collection. Guaranteed to go up in value. Not guaranteed. I probably spent 15, $18, uh, and I, I have my whole collection set up with little holders to spare. And I got this little chalkboard at the 
dollar store too. That's pretty neat. I don't know if I'm gonna incorporate it or not. I'm trying to have a more polished uh, YouTube experience for the, you, the viewers. But uh, I don't know. Some viewers like my chaotic dad energy. Huh? Anyway, if you get ag extra handhelds for Christmas, or if your 2022 was a little bit busier than it should have been, take some advice from your old buddy Zoo and Gary and Jack the Cat, who's around here somewhere, and just buy some cheap little easel things from Amazon or go to the dollar store and buy displays.